it's me with Flash Tank here bringing you yet another life story video and uh, yeah I know this one's coming a little bit late I, uh, I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to see this time and uh, yeah you, you guys uh, the 50 of you who did vote thank you for that decide that you want to see this story today and uh, yeah if you guys want to participate in any of the future votes for this series these life stories uh, make sure you go follow me on Twitter I have the app on screen right now so go ahead and press that follow button there and you'll get to see all the random memes that I post as well as updates on future videos and get to help make decisions on what stories are going to be made next but aside from that I do have to give a major shout out and thank you to the person who submitted the gameplay what you are watching on screen right now they do have their name watermarked but I'm going to say it anyways Atlas Omega Dalla, thank you very much for submitting this gameplay. You'll notice that he actually put a little bit of editing into this gameplay and I actually laughed a few times while I was watching this video recording it so definitely go check him out after this. It's a pretty good let's play. But anyways guys with that being said let's just get right into the story and th this one's a pretty interesting one. It actually happened uh, last year 2016. Happy New Year's everyone by the way. Hopefully you are not extremely hungover if you are. Uh, I'm sorry just pray to the porcelain god and hope everything gets better. Nah I, I do hope that you guys had a good one. I myself spent the entire New Year's at my grandparents house downing an entire bottle of wine. It was fucking great. I made sure to disappoint them plenty. But yeah, make sure you comment down below what you guys did for New Year's, and I'll make sure to read them and reply to a few of them. But yes, uh, enough stalling, let's just get into what you're here for the story about my wisdom teeth being removed. Now for those of you in your teens that are getting ready to have this operation done yourself, getting your wisdom teeth removed, uh, it, it can be a little bit scary because, you know, you're, you're being knocked out, it's actually a surgery kind of thing. And, uh, it's kind of stressful, so I hope that this story, uh, helps relax you a tiny bit when you're going in for this. Because I'm just gonna tell you now, I was a complete and utter train wreck. So it started off in the morning, I had, like, just woken up before the appointment started, you know. They didn't want you eating or drinking anything before because, you know, they're gonna knock you out. They don't want you accidentally throwing up during the operation and completely drowning yourself. It, it's probably pretty gross, don't it's not it's not a good thing, you don't want that to happen. And so you know, I had just woken up and I was just trying to get mentally prepared for it, like, alright, I just had a good night's sleep, time to go get knocked out and sleep some more. So we go up to the doctor's office, you know, I had to have my grandparents drive me, yes, uh they were with me on this endeavor. You are actually not allowed to drive yourself after this operation is done because you know you're just, uh, you're just getting off of all the anesthesia and everything. Uh, if you tried to drive, you'd probably be driving the equivalent of a drunk person with a blood alcohol content of about 9.0. I'm sure you've seen all the loopy videos of people that just got their wisdom teeth removed and they're crying and just like, oh, 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 just, you know, acting completely crazy. That, that That's pretty much what you're supposed to be like. After you get the wisdom teeth done, everyone reacts to it differently. Uh, I reacted to it kind of in a strange way, you'll see in a bit. But for most people, including my sister who had done this operation before, I even did, uh, they, they all react in the uh, same completely out of it, you know, drunk sort of way. So we get to the doctor's office, you know, they take me back and they bring me into the room and, you know, the anesthesiologist is there and they're like talking to me like, okay, so we're gonna need to uh, inject this and like we're going to uh, knock you out and we're just gonna start, okay? And you know, I I'm not really that much of a fan of needles, like even when I go to the doctor for a cavity filling, I, I don't get the shot in the cheek because you know I just don't like it very much and you know I, I go through the entire operation without any painkillers because uh needles and so you know they pull out the needle I kind of look at it and I'm like is there any other way like it can be done like knock me out some other way you know deck me over the head real quick and you know they're like uh well we have uh 
pill, we have like another injection we could do. Uh, I'm like, mm, well, this is a dentist office. You guys have laughing gas, right? And they say, yeah, and they put it on and you know, they're starting to like make me numb, go to sleep and everything like that. Though so me being freaked out and being a bad patient, I kind of took off the nose piece that they had the laughing gas going on to. And I'm just like, uh, no, I don't like the feel of this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And so we waited a few moments. Meanwhile, all the doctors in the room are getting more and more pissed off. I do not blame them. And, you know, we give the laughing gas one more try. They put it back on, and, you know, I'm just sitting there breathing in. Just, you know, waiting, letting the tingling go through the entire body, you know, how it does. You know how laughing gas is supposed to be, you know, make you loopy. Supposed to, like, relieve the pain for kids when they're going to the dentist. I'm pretty sure they gave me a horse tranquilizer dose of that stuff because, well, it, it kind of worked very quickly the second time, you know. Start going through, and within, like, 30 seconds, they're like, Alright, so, so you feel anything? You feel okay? And I'm just like, yeah, one second. I'm just like holding up one finger, just like, wait, wait. And about 10 more seconds pass, and the doctor like leans in, he's like, you feeling okay? Everything all right? And I just put up the finger one more time, like, one second, wait, wait. And I'm pretty sure the way it happened, or at least looked like, because I was sitting up at the time, and just one second I was there, the next, I was completely out. Okay, eyes rolling back, you know, falling back into the chair. They all rush in at once, you know, put the band around my arm, put in the anesthetic. And I'm completely out for the entire rest of the treatment. And you know, that they did everything completely right, everything went out as it was supposed to. They did a good job with the operation, and like, the second they woke me up, I, I just sat up and they're like, Oh no, 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 you're not supposed to do that, sit back down, this way is not good. Good. Because, you know, as a lot of people are, after they get off of that anesthetic, they're loopy probably for a few hours afterward. And, well, uh, they, they don't want to be responsible if the person stands up and immediately does a faceplant. And to give you guys an example of how fine that I was as soon as I woke up, like the second I woke up, completely conscious, like nothing had happened, like my mouth was numb, that was for sure. Couldn't feel shit there. And, you know, they, they asked me the questions that, you know, you'd expect, like, how do you feel? Is everything okay? Does your mouth hurt? Stuff like that. And, uh, and as well as an example of how completely fine I was at this moment, the very first thing that I did as soon as I sat up and, you know, they had told me to lay back down as I reached into my pocket, pulled out my phone, and, you know, started texting people like, Hey, I made it. Woo. Because uh, I'm not sure why, but... I felt completely fine, like it didn't affect me in the slightest. And like, they, they had to do the things that they always have to do after those operations, which is, you know, make you rest and recover for a little bit. In my case, it was about an hour. A lot of other people, it may be longer. But basically, it's just as long as the doctor can see you, make sure that you're not going to immediately murder yourself the second you walk out the door, and, you know, make sure most of the loopiness itself is out of the way. And the way they did that with me, they took me to, like, this resting room, you know, sat me back, gave me an iPad in the person, they're like, they're probably used to dealing with people that were extremely out of it, again, like I'm saying, people that just are like, where did my teeth go? Where am I? Jesus! And the person just, you, you, they bring out the iPad and they're like, alright, so we have Netflix on here? We, what would you like to watch? We have this show, we have the we have this show and you know i'm just kind of looking at um again i'm completely fine at this point i'm just like just give me the ipad i'll pick something and i think the woman knew that i was completely fine because i had walked myself there by myself like they're supposed to like hold you to make sure you don't collapse 
on the way there, you know, I just walked over to it. And she's just like, ah, oh, cool, whatever, and just gives me the iPad, and, you know, I just chill out and watch some Family Guy for about an hour until they're like, okay, well, we don't need to keep you really anymore. Our legal liability is up, so get the fuck out. And, you know, afterwards, I just walked out, saw my grandparents, you know, they're like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, phone's already out recording, hoping that I was, uh, completely zoned out, completely drunk off my ass, but they didn't get such luck with me as they did with my sister. And yeah, we ended up going home, everything was completely fine from there, I mean, I was worried for a moment because one part of my face did not go unnumb after a while, I was worried they damaged a nerve and I was going to be numb forever there, but no, it was good, they got it and everything was good. Just uh, make sure if you are going to get this operation done that you do keep on the painkillers because once the initial numbness wears off, uh, yeah, you're, you're in for a very, very nice treat. Uh, make sure that you are completely high on your painkillers, just gonna say that. Not saying do drugs, because if I say that, then YouTube will slap me, but, I mean, if you're gonna be doing that type of stuff, getting your wisdom teeth pulled out, they're, they're gonna give you painkillers anyway, you might, might as well take those, I'm just gonna say that. Moral of the story, drugs are bad unless they're good. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, if you liked it or you know are about to go through this type of thing yourself make sure to leave a like on this video and if you really liked it hit that subscribe button i would love a new addition to the snake army be sure to check out the last video which is playing on screen right now it was actually kind of an update video as well as a look back to my channel's origins of being a youtube gamer yes back when i would sit down at my computer not edit my shit at all just up upload raw video files. Long story short, they embarrass me plenty now, so go ahead and watch it. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure and go check out Lord Bung because he needs the love. But with that being said, guys, I will see you on the next video tomorrow as always. Whiplash, signing out.